Although the massive pyramid of Cheops has graced the ground of its Egyptian homeland for 4,500 years, we're still far from unlocking all the mysteries of this world-renowned structure. In fact, the most adventurous legends have always been entwined around the monumental tomb. While stories of extraterrestrial builders are generally dismissed with a weary smile by conventional science, there are also some great mysteries about the Great Pyramid of Giza that even the most renowned experts cannot plausibly solve. In today's video, we show you which exciting mysteries still need to be examined and deciphered. Before we get started, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Also, stick around until the end to learn about some of the most recent theories regarding the famous pyramid. The Enigma of Electromagnetic Radiation a few years ago, a remarkable entry was added to the list of mysterious stories surrounding the Great Pyramid of Giza. An international research team of Russian and German scientists set themselves the task of taking a close look at the monumental structure from a very specific perspective. They examined the distribution of electromagnetic waves within the Cheops Pyramid. To do this, the experts did not equip the imposing tomb directly with special high-tech sensors, but created a theoretical simulation based on the composition of the structure that's known to us. But what exactly is this electromagnetic radiation that aroused the interest of experts? Even if we can't directly perceive it as such, electromagnetic radiation is an integral part of our everyday life. Regardless of whether we use our smartphone, warm up a snack in the microwave, or treat ourselves to a short sunbath in summer, the waves from coupled electric and magnetic fields are our constant companions and can be generated both artificially and naturally. But back to the researchers' exciting study. Based on the assumption that there are no previously undiscovered chambers hidden in the mysterious interior of the Great Pyramid, the researchers created a complex model. So, they were were finally able to calculate how the electromagnetic energy waves behave inside the pyramid, whether it's absorbed by the mighty walls of the structure, for example, or possibly scattered. The evaluation of the theoretical study delivered an equally exciting and surprising result. The electromagnetic radiation is bundled in the chambers and under the base of the pyramid. When this astounding realization was obtained, a key question quickly arose. Did the builders of the Cheops Pyramid possibly know of this fascinating property of their structure, or even more, did they deliberately use the collected concentration of electromagnetic radiation? As exciting as the results of the scientific model may be, they're not above criticism. In fact, this is a purely theoretical study that makes some unconfirmed assumptions. It has not been conclusively clarified whether the Cheops Pyramid really doesn't hide any unknown cavities, and whether the built-in material is actually distributed as evenly inside and outside as the researchers possibly. But what are your thoughts on this exciting result of the study? Let us know in the comments below. Mysterious Cavity it becomes clear to us why the study just presented is sometimes criticized for its purely theoretical approach when we take a look at the sensational report that made the headlines in 2017. For the first time since the 19th century, a previously unknown chamber inside the Great Pyramid had been found particularly mysterious. The hidden cavity is not only at least 30 meters long, but also bears a great resemblance to the famous Great Gallery. This is a 45 meter long and over 8 meter high corridor that leads to the burial chamber of King Cheops, the pharaoh in honor of whom the pyramid was commonly believed to have been built. However, the purpose of this newly discovered chamber, which has eluded modern view for so many years, is utterly uncertain. While in the past, researchers and explorers had to venture directly into the heart of the pyramid to uncover hidden secrets, the discovery of the secret chamber was made possible with the help of the most modern technology, because so-called muon detectors were actually used in this exciting project. Muons, on the other hand, are tiny elementary particles that represent a main component of secondary cosmic rays. 
As soon as cosmic rays hit the nitrogen and oxygen molecules in the Earth's atmosphere, the corresponding impacts trigger showers of elementary particles that fall in the direction of our blue home planet. Some of these particles get stuck in the Earth's natural protective shell. The ones that make it through are usually muons, since a muon is around 200 times heavier than an electron and also moves at breakneck speed. It has another property that's particularly exciting for the researchers. It can also pass through dense materials such as rock or concrete comparatively easily without causing any damage or change to gamma or X-ray radiation. So, at first glance, it seems like this would be the perfect indicator for investigating inaccessible areas. The problem, muons appear very rarely. So, if you want to get a holistic picture of a structure the size of the gigantic Cheops pyramid through muon analysis, you need a lot of patience. So, it was that the researchers' work dragged on for several months. When the existence of the cavity was finally revealed, the excitement in the ranks of the researchers was understandably high, even if the muon scan couldn't answer the question of whether it's a single room or a compound of several chambers. What's more, we don't know what secret treasures might be hiding in this ominous cavity, and we may never know. The experts couldn't find a passage leading to the secret chamber. Attempting to drill into the hidden cavity could in turn pose a threat to the entire structure of the pyramid. How was the Pyramid of Cheops built? Given the mysteries that may have lurked within the belly of the Great Pyramid for many centuries, let's not forget a question that's puzzled researchers from time immemorial. How was the Pyramid of Cheops actually built without the use of modern engineering tools? An exciting lead but dismissed as nonsense by many researchers comes from the famous Greek historian Herodotus. He once wrote that a moat led into the pyramid, where it formed a lake with an island. Since Herodotus wrote these lines when the tomb was already 2,000 years old, most experts believe that the historian was grossly mistaken at the time. A few years ago, however, the architect Bernard Kiris argued that there could possibly be more than just a spark of truth in Herodotus' statements. However, the lake under the pyramid wouldn't have been a ritual site, but a central point for transporting the huge blocks of stone. In fact, scientists are still arguing about how the Egyptians managed to pile up the blocks weighing several tons into such a huge complex. It's generally assumed that the ancient Egyptian builders used an ingenious system of ramps for this purpose. However, Karis believes that this approach would have been far too expensive and complicated and proposes a far simpler alternative. The biggest problem of the building puzzle is the sloping position of the pyramid walls. Heavy objects like the massive blocks of stone can only be moved diagonally upwards with great effort. It's comparatively easy to maneuver the blocks vertically or horizontally, and Karis is convinced that the ancient Egyptians did just that. And with the help of a change elevator, which was inside the constantly growing pyramid, Around 500 workers provided the necessary counterweight. In this way, it would have been possible to move loads of up to 30 tons to any height and with just a single pull. The blocks were transported via canal to the lake under the pyramid, where they were unloaded on the island and lifted up with the help of the elevator, according to the architect. The fact that we can no longer find any trace of such a water system today is due to the fact that the corresponding ditches and channels were backfilled after the construction work was completed. This would also explain why the king's and queen's chambers are slightly off the central axis of the pyramid. After all, this was occupied by the central change elevator. Karis also has an answer to the long-standing question of what happened to the piles of rubble that formed. Normally, the raw blocks were brought directly to the construction site and only then processed into their precise shape, an activity that requires immense masses of boulders and gravel. In this regard, the architect believes that the construction waste is slumbering inside the pyramid as a filling of the built-up stone honeycomb. In fact, we shouldn't forget one thing. If the Cheops Pyramid really consisted entirely of solid blocks of stone, it would represent an absolute exception in ancient Egyptian architecture. A Mysterious Group of Artifacts 
We all know that the Sphinx is currently located fairly close to the Pyramid of Giza. Today, these two structures stand just on the outskirts of Cairo. However, many thousands of years ago, these two structures likely stood independent of one another, essentially being placed in the middle of the desert. For many years, it was widely assumed that the pyramids were used as burial chambers for elite Egyptian rulers. Because of this, many people began to refer to the Sphinx as the watchdog for Pharaoh Cheops' tomb. However, in more recent years, Egyptologists have begun to realize that there are no references to Egyptian burial practices found inside any of the pyramids. This essentially disproves the theory that these structures would have been used as tombs. Thus, this also disproves that the Sphinx had anything to do with Pharaoh Cheops or the pyramid that's been attributed to him. The pyramids have been rumored to have been used for countless things. Some people claim that both the Sphinx and the pyramids are magical places that may hold mysteries and uses that our minds simply cannot understand. Some people claim the pyramids would have been used for generation of power or to harness the cosmic forces. Other researchers claim to have evidence that the structures would have been used to produce electricity or to harness electromagnetic energy. The honest truth is, we have no idea what they were used for. We also don't know why the Sphinx was built alongside them. However, in a more interesting historical twist, there's quite a bit of evidence that claims the Sphinx may have been built many many years before the pyramids. This has not been definitively proven yet, but researchers are getting closer and closer to an answer. If this is true, it could turn the entire history of ancient Egypt on its head. Time will tell. One of the most well-known researchers who's spoken about the potential hidden truth of the Sphinx is named Edgar Cayce. He made claims more than a hundred years ago that he had heard of a hidden library that was buried deep beneath one of the Sphinx's paws. He said that this library had come to be known as the Hall of Records and that it would contain all sorts of ancient information, potentially explaining the construction of the pyramids as well as the Sphinx itself. If these claims are true, they would perfectly align with records of the Rosicrucians, a secret society that's been lost to time. These documents were published for the first time more than a hundred years ago, and according to them, the Sphinx was being used to contain all sorts of valuable information about the Egyptians, ensuring that their history and lineage would live on for countless years. In 1989, a team of researchers from Japan wanted to find out once and for all what was located beneath the Sphinx. They began digging around the Sphinx, specifically around the paws, and they didn't find anything worth mentioning. However, another man claims to have caught wind of a secret that had been found beneath the Sphinx that the researchers were ordered to cover up. This is where things get weird. The researcher says that beneath one of the paws, the researchers found a deep shaft that led beneath the monument. Around this area, they found a clay pot with a rope that had been coiled in the center. He says that a secret research group that had been created by the government was ordered to look inside to see what they could find. Once these researchers made their way inside, they allegedly found a mysterious field of light that none of them were able to pass through. In essence, they were stopped by a bright door that could not be opened, no matter how much they tried. A mystic from this time period claimed to know how to open the door, but these rumors claim that what the researchers found led them to seal up the shaft and never enter it again, very similar to what allegedly happened near the head of the monument. Even today, after all these years, we still don't know much about the Great Cheops Pyramid, nor do we know much about the Sphinx who guards it. So much has been lost to time, but researchers are hopeful that, as more investigations are allowed, they'll be able to continue unraveling the truth of this long-forgotten era. All right, folks, now your opinion matters. Which mystery of the Pyramid of Cheops fascinated you the most? Let us know what you think about today's video in the comments below. If you enjoyed our detour into the mysterious world of the Great Pyramid, please give us a thumbs up. Also, while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss a future video. Would you like more exciting videos about the most exciting discoveries on our globe? Then take a look at the other videos of our channel, which we've linked for you in the credits. Thank you for your interest. Have a great one and see you next time.